Hey beautiful people, thank you so much for watching this video, keeping up with me and actually checking out my channel. If you have not subscribed yet, please, please, please subscribe to my channel. Check out my blog, go up another blog and find out what this is all about and what's about to happen because you definitely do want to follow this and see the journey, follow the journey and definitely join the challenge. So, I just watched my No Shame 365 introduction video and I was looking at what I did then and if I have actually been keeping up with what I said I would do and the answer is no, I haven't. So, since I haven't been keeping up to the rules, I think that it's a good thing for me to introduce something new and that is a monthly check-in. To tell you guys how well I've been doing, if I've been sticking to the rules, if I've been doing well, and what I've, what I've learned and what I'd like to change. I've made some notes. Here they are. And I want to actually go through everything that I've done and see what I have kept to, what I have done well, and what I haven't done well, and what I would change. So let's go through the month of September. How well have I done in the month of September? It's now October. Let's do this. Ground rules were, I would plan my content weekly. I'll be honest, I haven't even planned my content for two days in advance. And so sad because I'm a social media manager for so many clients. They do so well to have great content. But when it comes to my content, I don't plan at all, which is like death wish. Rule number two, plan content for my blog three months in advance. I have done that in my head and I haven't written it out. <sighs> so there's another fail. Then, daily posting. Once a day on my Facebook page. There's been some weeks where I did it and some weeks where I did it. Once a day on my personal Facebook. I think I've kept to that. 10 times a day on Twitter. It's so much harder than it actually looks like. And there's some days where I do tweet 10 times, but if I had the content calendar, I'd do a much better job than posting twice a day on Instagram. This is probably the one that I've done the best on and that's probably because it's my favorite and I can't choose favorites. So no, that's, that's about to end. And then two new blog posts weekly. I've actually done that. I've actually done that. And that makes me so happy. I've actually kept to that one. Super, super happy about it. And on top of that, I've been promoting it on Facebook and Twitter and I've said something about it on Instagram. Which is the whole point of the No Shame 365 challenge is post content and tell people about it with absolutely no shame. Awesome. Then weekly vlogging. I've done my first vlog, which was the Guamarindani vlog. If you haven't checked it out, check it out now. I'll post the link down below or on one of these bubbles up here. And I've also done another one a weekly vlog where I had two meetings during the week and they went really well. Then I am a week late on my third one and my fourth one is due tomorrow. So again, off the mark. So I had said in the introduction that I would give you guys downloadables. And the reason why I wanted to give you guys downloadables is because these things actually help in the challenge. Social media content calendar, if you sit down every Sunday or every Monday, plan your content for the week, schedule it, then your week is sorted. The only thing that you have to do is your Twitter, which 
I had planned 10 posts and 4 of them would be planned in advance and 6 of them would be retweets and mentions which shouldn't be that hard. Then blog workflow and content plan. If I had stuck to the plan and done it weekly, I would still have and done it 3 months in advance, then I would have my content on time but because I had already written the content it made it easier. But moving forward I need to plan so that I can actually get these things out of time. Then the measuring scorecard. This is something that I actually came up with now because I was thinking to myself, if I'm actually going to do well, I need to measure what I'm doing. I need to make smart goals. They need to be specific, measurable, um, actionable. They need to be realistic and they need to be time-based. Creating the scorecard and keeping up with the scorecard and then checking in with you guys every month will help me to stick to the rules because I'm accountable to you guys. I'm telling you guys about the challenge and I'm keeping you guys updated with how well I'm doing on the challenge so that I can continue to do my best and I can be accountable for what I'm doing. Um, if you guys join the challenge, sign up for the challenge, get all the resources that you need then you will be accountable with the rest of everybody else who's joined and accountable to me too because I will check up on you guys I, honey I will check up on you guys okay I want radical change in a year I want to face my fears in a year I want to conquer self-promotion and take the shame out of it selflessly promote myself for a year come out on top of the game by the end of the year having changed my perception and other people's perceptions of how things should be done and schooling people on how social media and the digital world can change your life if you take it seriously let's continue to do a good job let's let's up our game because i'm taking this seriously because i'm not i'm not finna get to the end of this 365 days and not have progressed that much so i hope that you guys continue to stick with the journey go get the downloadables sign up for the challenge and let's be stars at the end of these 365 days hashtag no shame 365 i'll check in with you guys later